So I first start by taking a white face paint and just lightly applying a light layer all over my face and allowing this to dry while I move on to the other details. To go area over areas where skin may be showing. So this includes the ears and it also includes the neck or hands. Now taking a black pencil, I lightly sketch out all of the shapes before going in with the face paint. I start by applying little upside down triangles starting from the base of my eyes pointing down towards my cheek. I do the same thing to the top of the eye, instead I make an upwards facing triangle. I'm going to fill my eyebrows in, creating a very curved surprise shape. I started off here with my eyebrows being covered, but it's not absolutely necessary. I am going to start outlining the shape of my mouth and you want to go above your natural lip shape and here I'm following the natural curves of my cheeks and the contours of my face to create a very wide tooty grin. Of course this shape is going to vary depending on your features. I lightly apply some more of that white face paint using the same sponge and I take the edge of that sponge to use for precision around the edges of the mouth and sharp detail lines. You don't have to be too careful with this dough because the more messy it looks and the more uneven it looks is the more of a disturbed character it will create. So make sure you also get places that may be showing as part of your costume like the ears, the neck or the hands. For hard to reach areas, I use a paintbrush from the craft store that's synthetic to cut out around detailed areas. Next, I take a blue eyeshadow and fill in the triangles that I created around my eyes. Taking a soft black coal pencil, 
I smudge this on the lower waterline and all around the eye in a very messy way. Using a matte black eyeshadow on a fluffy brush, I go in and set all of the areas that I place that black pencil. That same taking that same shadow on a fluffy blending brush I am going to smoke out the entire eye keeping that sort of blown out circular shape again doing this very messily next I go in using some black face paint on a very detailed brush and outline all of the triangles that I placed around the eyes. Using the same brush, I then apply the same black paint to my eyebrows, taking my time to work on the actual shape, making sure that they're even. Once this is done, I take some white face paint on a small detail brush again and start carving out the teeth. You want to do just a rough draft at this point in time, making sure to vary the size and height of each tooth. Once all of the teeth are drawn in, I want to go in with a black face paint on the same detail brush and start filling in the spaces around the teeth. This is where you can actually clean up the edges of those teeth and change their shapes a little bit more. You can even go over some of the white paint if you feel you need to change the shape of a particular tooth.
Once the inner mouth is completed, I use some red face paint and outline the lips and then fill them in. Using a fuchsia eyeshadow, this here is Sugar Pills Dolly Pop. I place this using a blush brush along the new apples of my cheeks according to where they would be because of the new smile that I created. Again, this can be applied very messily to create a disturbing character. I finish up any little details that need to be fixed and then I supplement this look using a red nose, a wig and some fake blood that I got at the costume store. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and be sure to share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.